Well, hello everyone. I'm Cindy Young with Brownfield Ag News in Orlando, Florida at the BASF Science Behind event. And I'm joined by Scott Kay, who is Vice President of U.S. Ag Solutions. Ag Solutions. It's just, it's a mouthful, but <laughs> it's an exciting time for BASF and you have a lot to celebrate here at the Science Behind event and for the rest of the week at Commodity Classic. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're really excited, Cindy, to uh, celebrate our 16th year of Science Behind. And I think we've got a few more years ahead of us. We, uh, as you know, BSF invests $3 million a day. Every day your, your viewers wake up. And so that's nearly 10 cents of every dollar that BSF uh, brings in. We reinvest into research and development. And, it, and then what we talked about here today is that we have over the next five years, we'll launch some 25 new products. 25 new products that have taken how many years to come to fruition? Well, each one's slightly different, but if I were just average, I would say each one's taking some seven to 10 years to bring to market. And, uh, you know, to, to, to launch major products, you know, 250 to 350 million dollars has been invested in the research and development to, to bring that uh, forward. And I think it's, uh, but for us, that, that is what we do. You know, I think we can appreciate that farmers have the biggest job on earth. They're battling mother nature every day. Weed resistance is, is top of mind, but resistance in general. You know, I think farmers are experiencing weed resistance in their fields, but they're also seeing it uh, from a uh, from a fungicide perspective as well, and and or more aggressive um, uh, fungicides. One of the things that was pointed out here today is the um, the creeping in of so many major weeds across across the entire United States and the resistance to those weeds and thus the need for new products to fight them. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you'd need a, a very uh, a big calculator to figure out that, that farmers are potentially losing a billion dollars just in weed resistance alone. And, uh, and so for us, we launched a new product today called Certain and uh, it won't be for sale this year, but it's, it's something we we're going to be testing in the field. And we want farmers to start to see and plan for for the 24 season. But, uh, but really, we want them to get educated, understand how it works, where they would, where they would spray it. But more importantly, what weeds it's going to control. So if they have a problem with water hemp, pigweed, or giant ragweed, I think it's a product they want to check out and, uh, and just to see how, how things work. The... Uh, you know, the other thing we showed here today is the march that weed resistance is on. So some seven different uh, sites of action have been eliminated, so to speak, uh, via resistance. And I think that's that's alarming. And then to know that the next AI is off in the future, you know, a new active ingredient um, for, for us. You know, we'll launch 10 new herbicides to help, but the next active ingredient is not going to be for several years. So, Scott, as you look into that crystal ball and what you see down the road. What, uh, what gets you really excited? What are you buzzed up about? You know what I'm excited about is I, I think we're gonna be able to really combine uh, new technology, new active ingredients, with some of the digital tools that farmers are, are leveraging to, uh, to also keep track of uh, their farming operations and to, to be on top of it so they can plan ahead for what's coming, not be so reactive. At the same token, I would say some of those new technologies, and we have new digital tools that would track rainfall activation. They might track uh, um, disease in their field and when is it gonna come so they could take a more preventative approach rather than be so reactive in season. And so, so for us, I think it's a combination of, of uh, technology and then this AI that, uh, that I think we can bring together to really help farmers accelerate their, their goals and their, their yields uh, in, for the future. Okay, in closing, new product, Certain. People will be learning and hearing more about that coming up very soon. Yeah, new product, Certain. We're, we're really excited. It's a novel uh, ingredient or novel uh, formulation in that it's a, the first uh, solid encapsulation product ever launched for the corn market. Very exciting news. So stay tuned, friends. Reporting from the BASF Science Behind event at Commodity Classic, I'm Cindy Young for Brownfield.